Hello everyone! So I recently did a top 10 Unity tricks video which you can check out here. A lot of you guys asked which settings I use for Unity and Visual Studio. I like to configure my workspace to get the most out of it and I hope you will find these features as useful as I do. Keep in mind I only use some of these settings on tutorials because I want people to be able to follow along. So here are my settings 2017. So let's begin with the Unity UI. Here's what it looks like by default. First off I like to take my project panel and switch to a one column layout. I then like to drag it over here by the hierarchy and also drag the console so that it aligns with the scene view. I like to make this pretty small and most of the time I'll take my game view and dock it side by side with the scene view so I can see both at the same time. I also like to make my inspector fairly big and always remove the asset store. I think it's much easier to use in the web browser. Then I normally go window and find the animator. I like to either have this on my secondary monitor or if that's not available to me I'll just dock it by the game view and the animation window I'll have sit down here by the console. So pretty simple, not much to it, but I really like it this way. I will also always go to edit project settings and then quality and make sure these settings are set pretty high. This just allows you to view your game at maximum quality instead of having Unity do texture compression or turn off certain lights. So I just go in here and change the pixel light count to 20, keep the texture settings and then bump up anti-aliasing to at least 4. Sometimes I'll even go to the shadow resolution and set that to very high. Of course you should always go back and configure the different levels to suit your game, but when viewing it in the editor it's a good idea to have maximum quality. Then I always go to edit, preference if there's a particular project that I'm often working on, I'm just going to check off the load previous project on startup. But of course, I've been doing a lot of tutorials and so I'm not going to click that one. Under external tools, I'll always select Visual Studio 2015 over Mono Develop. I just really prefer that. I also like to go to colors and just give it a bit of play mode tint so that I'm always notified when I'm in play mode in the editor. Finally, I go to edit, project settings and then choose editor. And in here I always make sure my version control is set to visible meta files, that's because I normally use GitHub as source control, and having visible meta files makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. I will also set the asset serialization to forced text, by default it's going to be on mixed, but forced text is just so much nicer when using GitHub. So if we now go and create a new script, I'll just call this one test script, you can see that it generates this default template. I don't like this default template. Thankfully Unity actually has a way to customize this, all you need to do is go to the path on the the screen now, it's going to depend on your operating system. So once you get to that path, it's going to look something like this. If you're using C Sharp, the file you want to edit is the C Sharp script new behavior script.cs.txt. So double click on that and you can simply change this to whatever you want. I like to delete the two using tags except for the using Unity engine. Also like to remove the comments, put the curly brackets here on new lines and I'll often add a comment up here saying something like this. And if you want this to be really neat, you can even add some regions that allows you to easily collapse different parts of your codes inside of Visual Studio. We could for example say region and then something like variables or public fields and then end region and do one here for Unity callbacks as well. So we can do region Unity methods and down here we'll say end region. So if we now save this and head back into Unity, we can create a new test script. So let's go here C sharp script new test script. So if we now double click this to open it in Visual Studio, we can see our new template. You can see how you can collapse these regions really easily. And of course, if you want to create a variable now, you would add it in here and we can collapse that as well. So I of course configured my Visual Studio a bit as well. Mainly I've changed some of the colors here. The theme I'm using is called Monokai. I've also switched to the default of having curly brackets on a new line and all the small formatting stuff and of course my window layout itself. Instead of going through and showing you how to add all that stuff, I've exported my Visual Studio settings and I'll have a download link for that in the description. So it should look something like this by default. After downloading my settings file, simply go to tools, import and export settings, choose import selected environment settings, hit next. You can choose to save your current settings, I'm just gonna hit no and then next. I'm gonna hit browse, find the file on my system, in my case it's going to be Bracky settings. It's a good idea to store this, hit open, hit next and you can choose what parts you want to import, I'm just gonna import all of them and then hit finish. Visual Studio might complain a little bit but it shouldn't really matter. You can see everything looks just the way we want it to. Also if you're using Mac, Unity won't let you download Visual Studio. That's because the traditional version of Visual Studio only runs on Windows. It is after all created by Microsoft. However, recently Microsoft started a new project called Visual Studio Code. It has the same feel and vibe as the old school Visual Studio, but it's a lot lighter and it runs on Mac. If you want to use that with Unity, you can again click in the description and download it. You should also go to the Asset Store and download this free extension. It's called VS Code and it will help integrate Visual Studio Code with Unity. This will give you features like IntelliSense and easy debugging. There's a guide here on how to 
to set it up. If you've ever used Visual Studio with Unity or version control software, you know that it can sometimes mess up your line endings. And that might cause Unity to complain, your version control software to complain, or Visual Studio to complain. To make sure that I always have consistent line endings, I use a plugin called Stripem. I can access it by going to Tools, Stripem, choose my line ending type, hit OK, and now every time I save a file, it's going to save with that convention. To download Stripem, simply close down Visual Studio, click the link in the description, hit download, choose add in only for VS 2015, click the file, and for me it's going to say that it's already installed or it should just run through the installation process for you. Now when you open up Visual Studio again, you should see the add-on here. So that was my settings, I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any great tips that you feel like improves your workflow, definitely share it in the comments down below. Also if you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next one. I upload Sundays and Wednesdays. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome people who donated in January and a special thanks to Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, James Callahan, Robert Barnum, Peter Locke and Jason Dottito. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash Thanks a lot guys.